Yo, we're here at the house. I got Mr. J's up in town. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? <laughs> and Remdo. So we're about to, not about to, we're about to eat breakfast, but we're already cooking breakfast. We got bacon, which I burnt a lot of pieces because I was busy multitasking. Huh, that's weird. But I was failing at the multitask, obviously. What, well, and you the said, and the Eggs. August one has been paid too? Morgan's doing work, <laughs> as always. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get breakfast going. Jason's in town because he's evacuated from where you live at? Fayetteville, North Carolina. Fayetteville, out in the boondocks. <laughs> he works at a big poop plant down there. <laughs> no, he's a active duty army, so thank you for your service, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't with you. Huh. Yeah, we're about to get, uh, get this breakfast in. Travis, I'm going to say it. We're going to do it. I already I'll... zoomed in on your face, Rachel, just because you said you didn't want to be here. What are you gonna say? Hello. Hello. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Give it to Luke. Uh, uh, Give it to Luke. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. Yours is almost gone, so I don't know what you're doing. Purple pickle. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. Do it again. Do it again, Luke. Right, right. Let me squeeze it. Though. You get the last of it. Ready? Oh it's all right here. Put your mouth in. <gasps> oh, that's <laughs> Purple pickle. <laughs> it's the purple pickle. <laughs> Put him in here. <laughs> Isn't that weird how it messes up your We should give it to Remy. Oh, we should not. Remy! <laughs> home sweet home. How's it going, Luke? I'm bending the shit out of this thing. Um, it's going good. Most of my van life involves cussing. Like a damn sailor. You have to put... Well, today I'm hoping to get these sh shelves in, some cabinets in, but there we go. See, I'm more impressed that he just woke up from a nap, not even 10 minutes ago, and he's I mean, pretty productive right off the get-go. That's how I roll. I have time to so the adjust. the lighting here is about terrible. I can, uh... I got some new lights, though. Oh, that's way better. Van life, uh, it was gonna I'm be very good. There's some good lighting. This is not my phone, if you guys are wondering. This is some ambiance. <laughs> some ambiance. This is, there we go. So, my plan to get all these nails out is to. I'm thinking to stack these up over in the front, right behind the driver's seat. There's enough space for both of them. Um, that way, I'm not. Because, like, one of the reasons I didn't want to put them back here. Is like when I'm following like a lot of this van life stuff. It's one of the coolest things they do, and one of the things I want to do is I want to take a picture from my bed out the back doors every day. And if I have the cabinets here, it won't be hard to see. Otherwise, I can sit like Travis is sitting right in the bed right now. You obviously can see the beauty of Travis's driveway. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, but <clears throat> so. So what made you start the van life, Luke? I've always, I mean, since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to. Be homeless. <laughs> so dumb. But like, I don't know, just the freedom of it, and you know, not having to pay bills. I'm, I'm a minimalist generally. I just don't like stuff. You know, and by stuff I mean like material things. It just drives me nuts. So when I first started in you know, Orange Theory, we start making a lot of money. It's like I could do this. I could live out of my van, and like it'd be cool. And it's been pretty cool so far. Except for getting everything set. Kind of sucks. I'm not super mechanically inclined, per se. I'm learning things, but I swear a lot because I don't know what I'm doing. That's why I don't record as much as I should. But here, let me show you. I'm going to put these in the front. I'll stack them up so we can see what they look like. Put these. Here. So I can get them open. I can stack the other one right here. Now the only reason I didn't want to do this is because I can't adjust this seat much. So I might slide the, the bed back an inch or two just to make sure it's fine. But I figure if you're going to have a place, I mean, I'm not going to have the seat back that much. And if I was trying to nap in the seat, I have a damn bed. Two True. Two feet behind the seat. So let me grab the other one here. Because the walls aren't perfectly vertical, it's a little bit of a bend. Hi, that's my cabin. <laughs> um, 
So here, welcome to my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey there. I'm glad I'm wearing pants. <laughs> my plan is to finish the rest of this backing. I was going to put a cabinet here, but like I said, it's going to obstruct the view from the bed. So I think I'm going to finish the paneling here, and then I'm going to have a fold down table. So in case I got to write or do any work, I just want it somewhere to lean. Lean and look out the back of the van. <laughs> so stupid. Freaking dumb. Um, oh my jeez. Oh gosh, I cannot wait to clear this up. So on the other side, I gotta clean, I gotta finish that paneling on this back wall. Insulate, finish paneling here. For the ceiling, I was going to put, if you look right there, possibly like a skylight, but I don't know. But the plan is after I get the ceiling done, I'm going to insulate it. And then I got a bunch of these little pine boards. And we'll put these across. Just kind of have it finished off so it looks it has a nice little wood finish. I'm trying to go for like a wood theme. But that's kind of the plan at the moment. But I have not been working on it as much as I should. I gotta spend at least one day doing it. But I haven't, a bunch of cops have been following me around in Akron. I'm sure there's a lot of people who live in vans in Akron. And they pick on me. The productive one. It's bullshit. Van life has came a long way. Yeah, Luke's just trying to wake my neighbors up. This is the van. Z van life. Devon just goes, I can't feel my ass. <laughs>